economic freedom, quality of life, and the impact of national policy are at the heart of today's debate. Chevron's decision to relocate highlights the allure of state policies that emphasize economic opportunities and personal well-being. Such moves attract businesses and foster a supportive environment for economic growth. But they also leave behind states grappling with negative repercussions. Chevron announcing it is moving its corporate headquarters from California to Houston, Texas. The oil and gas company plans to make the move to Texas before the end of the year. And the company says that all corporate functions will move to Lone Star State over the next five years. Chevron currently has around 7,000 employees in the Houston area and approximately 2,000 in San Ramon, California. More people leaving the West Coast because of taxes, lifestyle. You see the weak on crime. Right. You see the homeless situation. In Texas, yeah, that's, people where the, have to, that's where the oil is coming from. Right. Why not? Come to Florida. We love you. So. Yep. That's <laughs> why the Clamp did the Clampets evidently move to eventually move to Texas? N no, they moved from wherever they were to Beverly Hills. Oh, to Beverly Hills. <laughs> they would again. They would never do that today. Chevron's move from California to Texas underscores the stark differences in business climates. This decision aligns with the conservative values of economic freedom, lower taxes, and a more favorable regulatory landscape. California's high taxes, rising crime rates, and homelessness crisis have only reinforced conservative beliefs in the merits of free market policies and minimal government intervention. As businesses and individuals flock to states offering better opportunities, the debate over these contrasting approaches intensifies.